Hello everyone and welcome to another wait what wait what a minute what is that? That's not a war leader. Welcome to a Captain PVMP video. I am finally fulfilling the, the promises I have made in comments on my uh, videos and stuff to go ahead and upload some free player versus monster player videos. <clears throat> well, I, I suppose first of all I do need to introduce uh, some of the stuff about the characters. So I've got all this trait setups and everything coming up here right now. Um, for armor, he is wearing the hit bolt, height bolt armor, whatever you want to pronounce that, your choice. He, my captain wears uh, three pieces of the Leader of Men set and three pieces of the Hands of Healing set, which have different names, but I don't care to look them up right now. Uh, anyway, the, the major bonuses that you get from those is plus 5% to your healing and plus 10% to grave wound damage. And, uh, got legendary items as well and all that stuff, which I will talk a little bit about later on, but uh, most of this I'm just going to be putting up here. Uh, anyway, I do play a captain, and uh, this is one of only two characters that I've ever had at level cap on the free people side, and there's only really three characters that I play for free peoples because of a self-imposed rule that I only play heavy armor melee classes to keep myself from going insane with alcoholism or anything like that. Anyway, uh, this captain, uh, I took him out of the Etmores for soloing. As soon as he got his armor sets completed, uh, his jewelry is not particularly good or anything. Uh, his virtues, you've already seen that. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff going on. And uh, he is leader of men traded, which I do have the capstone as well, as lo along with the um, in defense of Middle Earth, as my other legendary, and shield of the Dunedain. So that is his build. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so first off, uh, here starting up, uh, this warden just got killed. And uh, I go ahead and attack this spider who had just finished off the warden. And not that this is particularly noble or anything, but I'm just trying to do this because, hey, my guy's got no audacity or anything like that. Uh, he's only just a little bit under 9,000 morale. So this is more just to see what can be done, how well it works, all that kind of stuff. And as you can see, the spider's doing a good job of staying away from me, and he's actually dropped out of combat. Uh, he managed to get his spider pet back up, which means that he will be able to eat that spider pet to get a lot of extra morale and such. And uh, yep, there he went ahead, ate this little spider, and now he is back up very high. Uh, he's doing very good with that fear application. And uh, I, very shortly he should be putting a lot of debuffs and other damage on me and I should be starting to take quite a beating. I go ahead and use my two arms skill, which I, because I use Shield Brother and have the, com the capstone for Leader of Men, I get full benefit from Shield Brother skills. So the uh, two arms skill is minus 15% uh, incoming damage, both on me and my pet. And I go ahead and use a Herald specifically to take advantage of the Shield Brother stuff. Uh, I do have a Banner of Victory available for me if the Herald dies or anything like that. So I can pop that out and uh, plant it pretty quick, as you see over on Control 9 on my bar. But uh, that's just about it. Anyway, there's a reapplication of Web the Earth. And uh, I'm getting really close to dying, so I decide that right now I need to make a better use of my last few moments of life and go ahead and res the warden. I went ahead and hit last stand there and now I'm going to use the in combat res as soon as I'm on crowd control. But there we go. Escape from darkness and res goes off. So that warden will be coming up shortly and if he jumps right back in then we should be able to polish off the spider or even if I go down he should be able to polish off the spider because the spider is pretty weak. Went ahead and hit shield of the Dunedain just to make sure that he wouldn't get killed and I'm dead. And uh, the warden stands there for a little while, but then he does eventually finish off the spider. But uh, I get no credit for anything from it. Anyway, uh, next up is uh, Inquisitor, who, yes, that is a rank 13 black arrow who I have foolishly challenged. Uh, I go ahead and just go on to the attack because I figure, hey, I'm out here to get rank 4. That is my goal. I want to get that fast map, and that's really all I'm here for with this guy and to fulfill those promises I made about actually putting free peoples on to my channel. Um, 
I don't really think there's any way I'm going to win this particular fight, but hey, I might as well give it a good shot, and at least it'll be something against Black Arrows. Now, uh, one thing that I should be doing is I should be potting some of the wound effects that are getting dropped on me, but I don't. So that allows me allows him to do a lot more damage than uh, I should let him do, and uh, put other status effects and everything. And uh, as you can see, you know, Skirmish Stance Black Arrow is very, very effective against a melee class when they can keep that slow up and keep on kiting you and shooting you. And uh, he goes ahead and blows me up before I can even uh, try to do anything to survive that. Uh, next up is Jurda, which uh, Jurda was actually uh, the first one I ran into, but uh, he is a, a war leader and he's only rank 1. And I, I started recording and chasing after him, not realizing that, oh yeah, on free people's side I have to use those horses to get anywhere. And uh, Jurda's coming right back down, so I go ahead and engage. And uh, he doesn't even seem to try to attack, he turns right back around and starts going up the hill. Uh, this is wrong and bad for multiple reasons. Number one, he's running away and not trying to fight. Uh, that's just going to lead to trouble. Number two, he's running the wrong way. West TA Bridge is right over there, and if I'm not correctly, West TA, well, TA itself is red at this particular point in time. If he runs to the bridge, he'll have three NPCs to support him, and if he actually fights back, heals himself up, he should be able to do quite nicely with the support added from them. Uh, if you... The other thing is that he's giving me his back uh, completely here, and allowing me to just wail on him. And uh, this is ju it just kind of shows, even for a class like the Captain, who doesn't have a whole lot in the way of crowd control, in the way of uh, slows and stuff like that, he can still be very effective against a foe that just runs away, doesn't fight back, and gives you positional uh, advantages, like uh, a bare back so that you can't block <laughs> parry and evade the attack. So you can evade, but can't block and parry. Uh, next up is Nungersh, which I uh, find near Hor Hollow. He is a rank 7 war leader. And so I go ahead and engage. Uh, he, the only thing is he is a little lower on power. Uh, the other thing to note for this particular fight is that the monsters have four outposts for this. Now, uh, one thing about uh, these fights that I'm going to mention right now is that when you see my, my cloak is white in this video, it means that I have a uh, legendary item, my class item, that has no legendary points spent on it. It is at max level, and I haven't bothered to spend any points. I forgot that it had been reforged or any of that stuff. So, uh, not only do I have the outpost up going against me, but the legendary item boost stuff is also not available, not being used properly. So, uh, my character is even more gimped than he otherwise would be, even for not having audacity and all that stuff. Uh, as you can see, this means that I am taking quite a beating. The other big thing is that I am not using uh, my <laughs> Inspire skill as much as I should be. I should have hit that far earlier. I'm only just now hitting that. Uh, I should also be hitting the um, that one skill whose name escapes me, uh, but that, that's also a self-heal. And uh, I'm not. I'm trying to go for last stand, but I get killed instead. So that was uh, all just using the wrong skills, not having my guy ready to go or any of that. So I come back here. Um, and as you can see, there's a message about Sarok defeating Hort Hollow Farmer, so I'm looking for Sarok, who is another warrior and one actually know. As you can see, my cloak is now dyed black, so I've corrected the problem with my legendary item. And uh, this is actually day two that I've had my armor set and come out looking for trouble in the Etmores like this. And uh, hopefully I will find Sarok very soon, which, there we go, I spot Sarok. Sarok is also a rank 7 war leader, and uh, this should hopefully go a little bit better for me. Uh, so I just finished off that Hobbit, and I uh, move in to engage. So our pull is pulling back a little ways, which uh, is smart, and I'm perfectly happy with, uh, just to keep away from potentially spawning Hobbits and their bows and stuns and disarms and stuff. Uh, go ahead and attack there. I, I use a combination of the uh, AoE attack with the two swings and kick, because not only does it cut through the animation allow me to get a little spike of damage, but being leader of men traded, my kick has a 10% chance to conjunction stun the target, so it's always a good idea to go ahead and use that whenever I can, just to try to give myself uh, an extra crowd control. Uh, another nice thing about being leader of men capstone is that, as you've noticed, I have routing cry available whenever I want to, and with the trait for stun on routing cry, that means that I get to have 
a stun on demand, which is something captains don't typically have, but I find incredibly helpful. Now the other thing that I'm doing really well here is I'm much more disciplined about using Inspire every chance I get. Uh, it also helps that, in this particular instance, the War Leader does not have access to four outposts, only three. I actually have one of the outposts boosting myself, and which, you know, you can see how much of a difference that makes as well, just not having as much of a damage deficit to worry about. So not as much incoming damage and better healing coming back out uh, because of the boost to Tactical Mastery. I went ahead and hit last stand right there, and that was good that I hit it when I did, because otherwise I would have been dead right there. So now I'm just going to go ahead and attack, and I'm trying to pick which one of my defeat responses I'm going to use. I decide to go for the War Cry, which is going to be an extra 5% damage plus the 15% greater attack speed. And that applies to my Herald as well as myself. Alright, I went ahead and used Strength and Morale there to get myself some extra health and uh, keep myself alive. Inspire once again. I uh, should be hitting the uh, the morale transfer from my Herald, which also gives actually a decent amount of power as well. And uh, there went the Valiant Strike to give me an extra boost of health. Uh, stun, and uh, I'm working on trying to actually use my heals as best as I can. Uh, there went two arms as well to slow down incoming damage. And come on, I should be hitting Inspire now. There we go. And uh, so you can see, even with all, all the other stuff, with the other problems, if you're actually hitting your skills correctly, this whole Leader of Men build, you can actually be fairly sustainable, even with no audacity to speak of, even with multiple outposts on the other side. Uh, with more even uh, numbers of outposts, uh, with more audacity, with better gear and stuff, this could go far more favorably. And uh, even with this, I've already taken out more than half of the Warlord's health. Now I do have the advantage of that one Hobbit NPC, but even at that, I, I'm still doing pretty well for myself. Also, this war leader does use Shield Bash, which obviously had to be bought from the store or come from a loot box. And uh, you'll find that most war leaders will tend to use that, uh, even if they're much lower ranked, just because Shield Bash is such a useful skill for the war leader. Uh, anyway, I am very, very close to the end of my morale pool, and down I go. And uh, shortly after that, Sargark went and renamed that particular, or the uh, command post that Sargark was using, and uh, said, nice nice try, Ugg. Uh, so obviously she recognized my character. Which, he is my forum handle, and if you're looking, you'll notice that Ivanius is part of my username here on YouTube as well. So uh, he's, Ivan's usually the name that I go by, actually. It's only really in Lotro that Ugmog actually is became the guy that I'm most well known for or anything. Uh, anyway, as we can see, no real success with the captain yet. Uh, fundamentals are a little bit shaky in some areas. I, I'm not as good at and uh, disciplined about hitting the proper skills at the proper times, but I do have a good idea of what exactly does need to be done. And you can see that for some of the stuff, it could be a lot more effective, uh, mostly against war leaders with uh, better gearing and audacity and uh, some other benefits to help balance the, the fight in, or swing it towards your favor. Anyway, that's all for this time. Good luck and have fun out there. Ivan, yes, is out.